Hey guys, Mazo here with another episode of Clever Plays. And this is kind of a series I do where I pick out all the, the smart plays that I see while doing demo reviews and, uh, you know, like to highlight them. And the first one's from Woxic, where he throws that weird molly to the right. Um, when I saw it on the demo review, I'm like, why is he throwing that there? He just cleared that corner. Uh, then when you kind of play it again and you, you look at the mini-map, he's, uh, you know, he's the dedicated a fake guy to sell it right so he he really does improve the sell of the fake by throwing that molly to the close right he also threw a smoke over the wall and he's just trying to make it seem like there's more people long a than there actually are and then his team's going to go in and hit b so uh, he has one teammate mid to help sell the fake as well and then he falls back through the stair room and goes back to b as well so really good fake from Woxic. you know he held three guys on at a and uh, you can't really ask for much more than that from a from a guy faking the bomb site, right? Good job. The second play here, Kerrigan, and I'm sure everybody knew this was going to be on the list. This smoke was godly. Uh, this was at the major, and he didn't win the round from it. But if he would have won that that round, it would have been the play of the century. Like, uh, I know it's simple; it just looks like a normal smoke, but it really is pretty weird to throw that smoke as a terrorist. It's not even that common of a smoke as a CT. In fact, it's it's a very uncommon smoke as C as a CT. And for him to kind of think about it and do it in a two v one, and then almost win the round. Like if he would have killed the uh, fox there, he probably would have won the round. Um, just insane. That was an insane smoke, and probably my favorite play of the major. Uh, next up, we have simple. And I don't know if this belongs in the clever plays list, but Simple likes to shoot before he hits the ground. And I said, I pointed this out in the demo review that I did of him. Whether you think it helps you mask your footsteps a little bit, maybe it does, you know. At least, uh, you know, people can't maybe pinpoint you as easily. You see his next jump here. He mistimes it a little bit. He takes out his knife and doesn't really get his gun out. And it kind of just looks like he's just standing on the ground and just shoots a random bullet. <laughs> Uh, maybe not effective when you do it like that, but, uh, hey, at least you tried, right? Uh, alright, this was at the Major as well. This was, uh, Gambit versus Fnatic, and it's just a simple paw flash, but when I saw that, I wrote it down right away in my book. I'm like, okay, I gotta put that in my clips, because it blinds the fuck out of Disco Doppelin here. And you're gonna see, he, Disco Doppelin's so, like, he's on a hair trigger, right, to try and retake that site. And he doesn't expect the flash to come out the other entrance to bathrooms. He saw Adren earlier, so he sees that flash. He thought that was a guy peeking briefly and ends up looking right into it just because he already saw Adren to the left there. And the fact that Adren threw the flash out the other entrance, you know, normally when people sell flash, they just throw an underhand flash in the air, right? Really cool shit. All right, this scream clip, you're going to see him shoot to the right and then kind of move to the left. And it actually really works out in his favor. Um, when Immortals come into the site here, they look like they're gonna they're gonna go to his left, you know, and then he shoots to the right, and that completely changes the direction that Hen One is looking in. So I'll slow that down. You'll see, just before or right after he shoots this bullet on the right, he's gonna pop the bullet, and then you can see Hen One looks like he's gonna come around to the left side of the box, but after that bullet is on the is sent to the right side he really does change his direction see now he's going to the right side of the box and uh scream pops out the other side to get a free kill on the guy defusing and i thought that was pretty cool it worked out exactly how he planned it right shoot to the right to kind of make it look like you're going to peek from the right and then move to the left we're going to see some pretty good teamwork here from kirby and device uh device holds the angle for ivy and gets a pick quick on pasha pasha just goes in dry and dies and then uh when they see the opera at the other side of Ivy, it's such a good bait. You know, when you're moved, like I'm sure Kirby, as soon as his teammate got that kill, he was licking his chops for the next opportunity to peek out kind of thing, you know? Because he can hear if Bialy's going to reload, he can hear Bialy doing lots of stuff, right? So he knows he's low on bullets because he's spraying. And uh, he peeks out at a great time, gets a really easy kill. And it's all because Device kind of baited for him and sh showed that he was at the far end of Ivy and they didn't really expect anyone to be up close like that. All right, we see a few plays like this these days, but uh, I think we're seeing it more and more. Stewie shoots before the flash goes off. You can see the flash come in and he shoots a bullet, trying to get Dead Fox to look in his direction before that flash pops. And I like seeing this. You know, it's really quick teamwork sort of stuff. It doesn't work for for them in this case but Glaive does the same thing in this position too sprays in some bullets the flash comes in 
Uh, this one a little bit missed time, but it does blind Guardian, although it was also a godly pop flash. And then he does it again. His his teammate calls flash coming in. And as soon as he calls that, Glaive starts to spray a little bit, shoots a few bullets. And uh, he's just trying to get Guardian to look where the gunfire is coming from so that he gets full blinded, right? Because that's where the pop flash is coming in. Here's a nice eco round from Shroud. Buys one, like buys a P P250 and a nade. And does 100 damage right at the start of the round. Just a wicked, wicked nade. Um, right on Phelps and his teammate that he's boosting. And that is a nice nade to start off the round on an eco round. Alright, that'll wrap up uh, the clever clips that I was able to find anyways. And this was from about a month worth of demo viewing. Uh, it's a series that I really like making, you know. I, I enjoy putting these clips together that maybe aren't always spotted on the broadcast. Uh, if you guys have clips that you see too, you know, just to help me, I'd love to pump out more of these videos. If you see something clever on a broadcast or an, a neat or tricky play that somebody pulls off, uh, send me a message on, uh, you know, either Reddit or Twitter or something like that. Uh, Twitter, I'll probably see the message. So yeah, send me your, your clever clips that you find. And I could probably, you know, these, these videos don't take too long to put together. I could pump out a few of these videos a little bit more often. Uh, you know, I can't watch uh, every broadcast, but if, you know, if a lot of viewers are watching different broadcasts and stuff like that, and they see clever things that are worthy of being in here, I would be more than willing to, to kind of put out a lot more videos of this type. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Take care. I'll see you next time.